Hello everybody and welcome to the start of World Tour 21 in the NASCAR Pokemon Cup Series. We kick things off with the NASCAR Pokemon Pro Series 500 here at Yaz Marina Circuit. And of course, like last season, it will be a standing start. Before we get to the green flag, let's... There are two driver changes you need to know about here in World Tour 21. One, Pichu is driving in the 22, uh, replacing Luke Walker for the World Tour only, as his ride is being taken by Avi Sachs, who's driving the number 29 um, for the World Tour, except in all but one race. Uh, and that one race in Rockingham, UK, will be driven by Nathan Hudson, because uh, Hudson's home track, and Sachs will ride, ride the rest of the way of the 29. Pichu will replace Luke Walker in the 22, by the way, uh, for the World Tour only. They'll all be back in their normal rides when the All Star Week before the All Star Weekend begins. So, just two driver changes you need to know about for uh, World Tour 21. And Thomas in the one is starts on the pole, and um, they will be nine laps, and there will be no cautions. You saw last last season's race in which everybody just kept slipping and there was like a caution every lap. Well, we're going to make this an endurance race. We're going to make this a nine lap caution free race and uh, it will stay green throughout and um, it will be a battle to see who will survive through the wrecks here at Yas Marina. So anyway, we're about to get the command. Once, they, uh, once the command is given, the drivers will get ready to start up their engines and when the green flag waves the cars will be rolling here we go drivers start your engines there's the command here comes the engine roar and here goes the green the green flag comes out we're underway guys like the 17 Emmanuel Magnuson got a better jump. He did. But as you know, now Magnuson's the leader and Pichu's moved up to second. Here they come down the kink right here. They made it through. Some drivers did, others just went over. Down the carousel. No problem so far. Again, this race is caution free, so... They slip up, it's over. For those drivers. Long straightaway, up comes a tough corner right here. They made it through right now, and Thomas has taken second place. Thomas so far second, with keeping their eyes on the leader. Right now, so far, here comes the tough S curves. Oh, just couldn't hang on. And the top three slip. Everybody just slips. Ooh. 78 spins, 14's around, and Lopez is around. Yikes, ugly. Wow. And the 14 slips again. Evan Junkim slips. New leader is Webster Zangarde. And the pace car just doesn't know when to stop. I guess it was always meant to be a wreck fest, so... I guess the pace car never stops. Or something like that. That's going to give the lead over to Webster's on Garde. And a battle here for fourth place as Lawler is trying to hang on over Ann Thomas. He gets the pass. Now two right now, and Webster has a one second lead. As you saw in the S curves, anything can happen. So don't count out. So well, they they should not be. Well, they should hopefully try to learn from their from the from the mistakes the top three made, and they're hoping to keep stay alive. And here we have a battle here with O'Neill, Balvin, and Pichu. And Pichu looks to have the edge just a little bit. 
Oh, we just saw second place get lost. That's Emmanuel Magnuson. He's trying to work his way back up again. Now in second. Yeah, the pace car just doesn't know when to stop. Wow. Guess the pace car never stops. <laughs> They've always meant it for it to be a caution wreckfest race. And the pace car is stuck there. Hopefully it doesn't affect the way the drivers race. Oh my goodness. The pace car just got wedged in there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Well, we won't have problems with the pace car today because it's caution free. We're going to have problems at corner. They slip. The lead goes to Ann Thomas. My goodness. That S curve has been the toughest curve of the race. Everyone just slips on those curves. One car is out as Mason Powers. He is stuck on the wall. No way. Oh no. Brian Acosta spun. Nobody is safe from the spins. And oh wow, no, Webster's on guard, he made it through. I think he made it through, he did. He made it through that. I, I Unbelievable, he made it. Driver's on the pit road now, Manuel Magnuson has to come down. Must have had damage from the earlier incident. We'll see if it's part of a strategy or something. We don't know. This will be interesting to see if these guys can survive. The 15 has pulled to a two second lead. So probably even if Zangarde spins, if he can hang on real quickly, he could still have the race lead. Oh, Jessica Emery's around. He gets, she gets hit. Emery slows up the field. Another driver, Balvin, is hit. Guess this kink right here has not been doing great with drivers. And one more spun. That's Emma Junkim. His day just goes from bad to worse. I just saw him spin out earlier on the first lap. It's just not been a great day. Back to Webster Zangarde. And Ann Thomas trying to close in on Zangarde. The only thing she can hope for is if Zangarde messes up. A lot of drivers have done that down the S curves, the deadly S's. The, the S's have just not been friendly with these drivers to tonight. And not to Zangarde, he spins Thomas around. And that should allow the 15 to continue to pull away. Now the 95 Shrigley will get second place. So, Zangardi's built up a, a big enough lead, he can just hold on. Oh, they're going out the course right now. Don't think that would probably be the ideal strategy, but... Well, you never know, though. Zangardi's hanged on right now. Coming down the S's, the final curves right here, and he's going to probably come down pit road, he will. Zangardi's turn to come down pit road. They're going to see if they're going to make it to the end. This is an endurance race with no caution, so they're going to need all the fuel and tires they could get. Shrigley is the leader. We'll see how we'll see how he can hold on to the race lead. And Thomas around again. Thomas went around once again. He get, She gets hit by Chris Dodd. And Jacob Lawler is second. Two drivers are out of the race. That was the 5 and 32. They're both out now. So this is going to get more interesting as the night goes on. Four. Now five laps. No, I should say six laps to go. Almost halfway through. Again, this is a caution-free race, so this could go by quickly. 
There's that pace car just sitting there in a weird position over the last. Here they come down the S's. Trigley can't hang on. And Lawler can too. Dodd is also spun. And Thomas able to clean to make through that turn cleanly. She finally mastered it. This again there goes to fourth place. Ooh, nice move. Oh, look at that. Lawler trying to get back. Oh, and Emery and Adler get together. Big turn there. They both got turned. Oh, man. Oh, the Shrigley spins out of the lead. Wow. Just couldn't survive this turn. Wow. This has been a messy race today. This today. Nice. And Thomas is able to survive so far. Thomas went through a lot today. They're going to pit right now. You're going to see if they're going to make it. Well, one car is stuck. That is the 20 Mason Powers. I hope he doesn't get involved in that little accident right here. He made it. They rule the one as the leader. Five laps to go. This should be... They could be good enough on fuel. That should be good enough to make it on fuel if they pit right now with five laps to go. Might be coming down the last drop. Let's see, one car is going down by and staying out. Thomas is going to have to fix her repairs and Lawler's out first. New leader is Peyton Beasley. Beasley. Richard's second, and that means Lawler's going to come out third. Beauchard is out. And Ann Thomas is out of pit road. Had a little bit more damage than the other drivers, and that's why she had to stay out for a little longer. Peyton Beasley is pulled away to a lead. We'll see if he will have to, she'll have to come down pit road. And Richard second. Both drivers have wins so far this season. Bowler does not have a win. Here they come down the tough S curves. And trying to go very slow. So far so good. No, I don't think we've approached the S's yet. No, we have not. So, here we go. Now, this is the S's part. This part will pretty much destroy any car it comes to pass. And it does. And 48 is spun. The 11 is taken out. Lawler just zooms by for the lead. It looked like Bane Beasley was going to stay there and fight. Got too tight on that corner, and he's... She's losing it. Oh, whoa. 48 got a good run off the turn. Good run. Could the 48 get by 42? Might have to come down pit road later. But we'll see. Payne Beasley trying to make it. I don't know if the 48's got the chance. They're going to stay out, so they're hoping that earlier pit strategy could be the winning factor here with four laps to go. Oh, oh we still got a long four laps to go. And Payne Beasley hanging on to Jacob Waller. And James Richards is also hanging on. But Lawler's pulled away, and it looks like the 48 must have gone a bad run. James Richards is closing in for second place. Oh! Ramiro Adler has just turned. And he's going to lose a couple positions. Adler, though, trying to recover. 
He gets by the 43 Justin Roberts. Now they're side by side. We focus on the leaders right here. Lawler's trying to Lawler trying to hang on. Look at James Richards trying to battle Payne Beasley. Here they come down the S's. We'll see if Lawler can make it through. Hasn't been a lot of grip on this corner. And there is a one now. Top three spin. Top four spin. Look at Abby Sachs just steamroll his way through the field. Now they're side by side for second. Beasley and Sachs both trying to get second place. Ooh, too high on the corner. He's going to lose two spots. Daniel Boucher going to try to make a boost. He did it. Beauchard goes for the lead. Oh, contact! He made contact with Lawler. He gets taken out. Wow. He was trying to get through Lawler on the corner. He didn't have room and he got taken out. This race is just beating banging without the cautions. The sack is going to get passed by Richards. We have three to go. This will be a wild finish. I... It, a wild finish could be brewing here at Yas Marina. Lawler still leads. Beasley second. Roberts third. The cars in the 40s are doing great so far, but with damage, though, they've been able to overcome odds. And look at James Richards. Trying to run over Ramiro Adler. Oh no, 43 has spun. Roberts has lost it. He's lost third place. Now this is a battle for third. Going down the straightaway. Adler and Richards battle for third place. And Ramiro Adler gets by. Adler gets third for now. We'll see if Lawler the top three, he was looking at the drivers behind him, spun, spun, he was able to keep the lead, we'll see if he's going to be able to hang on again. Down the S's, here we go. Spin. Top two spin, here comes Richards, and Richards goes by, he gets a clean run off the 20-42. Great run by the 11. He's able to hang on. Ooh. Baller trying to do the same thing. Oh, now they spin. Adler and Beasley are out. Both made contact. Baller able to survive. Oh, somehow. Bumps someone on the back. And he's able to make it through. This is for Abby Sachs. Can Sachs make it? Down the high line. These two are longtime rivals in the series. They get to meet again. Lawler pulls away. Richards has to pit. Two to go. We'll see if any driver. We'll see if any of these drivers has to come. Well, Richards pitted. I don't think Richards pitted at all today. And it came back to haunt him. I think Payne Beasley also didn't pit. We'll see if Beasley can survive without pitting. Or they might be taking their second set. We don't know. Well, we'll see if these guys have enough fuel to finish. Now it's setting up as a dream matchup. Lawler and Sachs, one, two. Sachs spins! And Roberts is second. Beauchard's third, but Sachs drops to just fourth. He could still rebound from this, by the way. With all the craziness that's been happening tonight. He could still rebound. Lawler has somehow kept the lead. Through all this Trump drama. But he's just got two more laps to go. Will he hang on? Will he have enough fuel? Roberts is coming quickly. 
Well, Birds has been through a lot too. Everybody has been through a lot today, but one could win. Only one will win it today. Here come the S's. Spin on Lawler. 43 spins at Beauchard. Got it. Daniel Beauchard gets it. And Abby Sachs makes it through the second. And he does. He made it. Second place is now Sachs. Oh, Lawler trying to cut him in. He did it. What a cut move by the 42. He stayed on the road, and that's what helped him to get second. Wow. Coming to the white flag. Will any of these drivers have to take a pit stop? Nobody. They're going to stay out. They're going to try to save fuel. The white flag is coming out. One lap to go. Will Beauchard hang on for his first win? Just got to make it through the S's. At least try to have the leader spin and hope to get lucky. Oh, Marches Ferrer with the lap car is approaching. We'll see if that will play a factor in determining the winner. Sax has spun. Sax is going to be put out of the race. Unless by some miracle the top two spin and could not recover. I think, this, I think Sax is going to have to wait. Wow, that's a tough break. Here we go. Final time down the straightaway. Will Beauchard hang on? Down the carousel and into the kink. Here we go. Final time. We'll see if he can hang on. Here we go. Down the S's for the final time. Will Beauchard hang on? Big stop here. Here they come. Beauchard's going to spin. So will Lawler. Sack spins at the top four spin. Beasley spins. Wow. Beauchard was lucky. The top five spun, but he's got to hold on to these corners. Ooh, Beauchard took a bad run, so did Waller. I think he might be the lucky one tonight. Down the S's, final turns. Beauchard looks like he's going to make it through. Off the final corner, Daniel Beauchard is going to score his first ever Pokemon Cup Series win. Yas Marina. Daniel Beauchard got lucky. The top five spun with him. And he was able to get a good run off. And is able to win the race. He beat out two Titans, by the way, to get the win. Lawler and Sachs. So it was a major upset here tonight in Yas Marina. To start off World Tour 21. Amazing start to the world. Hope you guys will join us for the rest of the races. Here are the final results from us here at Yas Marina. Through all the craziness, only six drivers retired. So it was pretty, it was okay in terms of having drivers stay safe. But still, we had some pretty intense moments. But anyway, Daniel Beauchard comes out on top and gets his first career Pokemon Cup Series win. We'll see you guys in Australia, our next race at Calder Park.